into game match number five. Don't forget, we still have four whole games. We have eight games lined up. So here we go, hopping into match number five. A lot of people dropping in right now in a variety of different places. This is an interesting drop just outside of Tilted Towers versus going directly in. Uh, so what's interesting is Razor actually dropped away from his teammate. So he's by himself. Uh, where? How far is his teammate? Yeah, and I don't know. I don't know if this is a worthwhile strategy. I mean, there isn't a lot of materials to be found here, except you know, obviously those trees and then the, the metal right there. Um, I guess he would drop here to stay far away from the action. Maybe they're planning something early to get the high ground to scout out. There's no rifts nearby, so it's definitely a, a, a new spot that I've never really seen someone drop here early on. Yeah, I mean, it, it's not a bad yeah, rotation, kind of I guess, walking into, you could do Tilted from here, yeah, yeah. but, yeah. I mean, it's almost, like, kind of scary to walk into Tilted if someone has already owned Tilted, right. you know what I mean? Right, But here we go, look at the, look at Lonely Lodge right now. Yeah. And, and what is happening? <laughs> that's a lot of people, and I mean, even looking at, um, you know, the teams that were just by Loot Lake and, and by outside of Tilted, I mean, they're all by themselves, so maybe that is a good drop. No one's nearby them. So they'll have a, a free opportunity to, to get all the loot in the world. Yeah, and they're actually dead center of the storm. Yeah. So we'll have to check back in with Razor in a little bit. This is Method Martin and uh, Tickling. Nice. Yeah, and it, salty. Okay. Possible enemies in in Salty Springs as well. I think they they hear someone or they're getting ready to engage. If I'm not mistaken. Okay. Okay. I mean, they're building ramps. I mean, I feel like yeah, uh, yeah if, uh, they wouldn't. Oh, and they got snipered. Sniper shot at them. Oh wow! Oh, okay, north. so okay, so they're here at north. Yeah, yeah. Maybe they kind of thought there's a team somewhere. Right. I mean, it's also possible this is also just a third party, right? Yeah, and uh, people always ask me like, why do you build ramps? Why do you build ramps out of nowhere? Sometimes it's to get that little oh, angle. You get a better vantage point, a little peak up above, and you can see a lot more. And that's what you saw them doing. A lot of action going on right now. Oh. Drops down. Headshots for 44. This player is very, very weak. Yeah, he owns that wall as well. He can't make any edits, and the pressure got him. Look at that nice. Oh, big, 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 big. So now, look, they're going to go immediately for the elimination. There you go. Beautiful. And right here is where I'm talking about. You can't build a floor, a roof, but you can build a pyramid. He, he tried. Oh, and he gets it. Oh, God. So he takes down Trop, but like your. Oh, bandages. Just kidding. It was all. It was all planned. All planned. Calculated. That's an emote in the game now. <laughs> But yeah, he was trying to cover himself over with the, with the floor in that situation near the house. And you can't build there, but you can build pyramids. Just a pro little tip to, to keep in mind. Okay, okay. So look, this is another team. This is DK, who is also in Salty. Oh, beautiful grenades. Look, wow. that was tickling. He's gone down. And another one to finish and get the other player. Wait, is he going to ricochet? He's ri Oh, okay. I was going to say, if he ricochets those off, yeah. there you go. So there's Meth and Martin, yeah, I'm, I'm and then Tickling down. goes down. And even after that down, he kept the high ground. He didn't even stop. He didn't even drop down, didn't get aggressive. He played it nice and cool. And we talked about that in the previous turn. So when Liquid Poach won with Vivid, they are very calm in every single scenario. They definitely have the potential to to win it in this in, in day two. What's interesting here is Fenos and Tinny are in Paradise Palms. I believe they might actually be by themselves. Yeah, it looks like he's looking around, or maybe he's just being extra cautious. I feel like you, I mean, Paradise, I love Paradise Palms for sure. Yeah. But you definitely want to be cautious, just in case, because you've got a hotel to worry about. Right. You've got the back pool houses. Every single house is open. Yeah. You can see inside, but you still got to be careful. Yeah, they're very open, and when you're going from house to house to get more loot, you're you're kind of in the middle of the street, or you're in the middle of the alley. Like, there's just a lot of open area versus going in an area like Tilted Towers, where everything is in a building, and, like, there's so much loot. Um, and, and, and all the areas are covered from high ground because of the tall structures blocking and obstructing so much uh, angles and, and viewpoints. Yeah. Taking a rift. I feel like they probably should have... There's two rifts there, so I feel like maybe they should have taken one rift, rift to pop. Right. To, yeah. to prevent the enemy from, from using the other rifts. Yeah, because rifts are up for 10 seconds, so it's like if you just consume both, that means the players can't follow you, right? But now there's a rift sitting back there. Yeah. If anyone's close by, they're like, all right, well, uh, we, we know they left. Let's just follow them up. Yeah, and exactly to elaborate on on Zeke. Oh wow! Nice. Great, that was that was impressive. Okay. One shot. Dude. I mean, the thermal scoped AR is nothing to sleep on. It, I feel like with regards to like scouting, it's really really great. And then even the damage. I mean, sure the fire rate is slow, but there's a reason for that. It's heavy hitting, especially with headshots. I think it's 72 each headshot. I mean, that's it. Oh, there it is, 72. 72. What a nice. If it was a gold, to be 75. <laughs> wow. So, and what's cool is you can even use the scope out to yeah, the loops. Yeah, as the, the structure's being built, you can see through it, you know exactly where to line up your shot for when the, when the wall does break. Oh my gosh, dude. He's landing these shots. And look, his teammate's very, very close by as well. Yeah. 
look at this. So we've got this cool, uh, this is the spectator mode. So this is the gameplay view. You can kind of see what they're, uh, what they're doing. I mean, just so much action going on here. Wow, teams fighting left, right, up above, below, vertical. You have Svanos scoping out an enemy from the high ground far away while his teammates pushing in. I mean, this is an interesting strategy. If, if Tinny goes down here, there's no way he's going to get the rev revive or save him. That's actually a really good point. I mean, he's playing kind of hyper aggressive right yeah. now. Yeah, and I mean, it seems working. to be working. Yeah. Oh, look, Tinny actually secured the elimination. Wow. <sighs> That's an interesting strategy, <laughs> splitting up. <laughs> wow. Far. I mean, yeah, hey, look, it, you do what works. We, we talked about, yep. like, not Rift tunneling in in the same one by one. You don't want to get C4, and we talked about, like, maybe spreading out. But to spread out that much, I mean, that's quite a distance, and it worked out. Very high risk, very high reward. And Spanos yeah. and Tinny say, hey, we're the guys that are going to make this happen, okay? Man, that was impressive. Which I cannot Taking a look at the map. I mean, again, we see people in Risky Reels. We've got what looks like a, a duo up in Lazy Links, Junk Junction. There's, they're about to fight someone outside of Junk Junction. Yeah, and they have no one. If you look where, where uh, Tinny and, and Spanos were, I mean, they're all by themselves, so they can escape the storm oh, as long as they have the healing items. They hopefully can find some rift or something. Because, I mean, look, yeah. they've got really far to go. I guess they could also just take an ATK at this point. It's like, look, we just need yeah. to get there, right? Yeah, exactly. Hopefully there's some rifts. And we were talking about maybe using up rifts so enemies can't use them. But maybe saving them for a later time would have been oh, a better so they're, approach. They're, they're playing the long game. They're like, look, look, look. Yeah. We're going to come back to that. Okay. Yeah. That's interesting how sometimes things just work out. Yeah. <laughs> it's nuts. Look at Isaac live. And le. Yeah, and they have the high ground here. It looks like that enemy. Oh, wow. That was Great Solary level. Hunter. Nice. Great shot. And it looks like the, the, the enemy is still being aggressive. Even with his teammate down, he's not just going for the res right the revive right away. He's just action packed. He's firing back so yeah. the enemy can't continuously fire like he's doing right now. Yeah, and that's Airwax. That's uh, Solary Hunter and uh, Lunary Airwax. Yeah. You, I mean, I feel like if you're Airwax right now, all you're hoping for is like someone else to show up, right? Yeah. Like, just and someone show up, distract the guy for literally 10 seconds so yeah. I get the revive. And I mean, you saw Isaac just standing there in the open, and that's the thing. Whenever you get a down, I mean, you tend to be a lot more aggressive, and that's a perfect opportunity for the player whose teammate just went down to, to fight back and, and just laser someone who's standing still. Because when, when someone gets a down, I, I just feel like a, a lot of people would almost try to go right for the revive, but you'll notice the good players and the really skilled players will will fight back and, and get the high ground before the other two can close in on them and be aggressive. Great play. So look at that. It looks like Lunary Airwax probably is just disengaged. He's probably just left. I think that's the right play, especially because they have such an advantage. Yeah. So just saying, look, Airwax, just go, man. We, we need to go as far as we can. Don't take this fight. Yeah. And yeah, as we were talking about that earlier. Might be him right there. Right. Oh, the and, shield. and notice he switched from wood to brick, so he's most likely out of wood, and he's probably very low on mats here. And there is a team on the mountain as well. What to do in this type of scenario? Look at this, they're getting party from the back, from wow. across the mountain. I mean, as we've been talking about, there's just so much action everywhere on the map now. And so many people are alive. I mean, Zeke, there's 59, if I'm not mistaken, 59 yep. people alive. And how late into the game we are, are we? I mean, it's, it's nuts. Okay, look at this. Clingers there, a gold bolt. All right, okay, okay. Ah, oh, we're going to see some more stuff. And he's rocking the new double barrel shotgun. Something that I personally don't don't use because the reload time is very very long, especially in these dual matches with multiple enemies. That's right, and this is that new spectator uh, mode nice. we talked about. So we're getting to see kind of like from the perspective of the play, right? Right to see exactly. Yeah, and it's interesting because uh, he doesn't have any mats right now, and he's running in the open. He should almost be trying to stay hugging near the mountain, using natural cover, or, or just farming up trees in general. Okay, okay. So now they're near Dusty. Look at this, this is the NIP guys, excited and goofy. Yeah, taking fights right in the open here. So, wait, did he bounce her? I have no idea. He was just like flying forever there. Yeah, I mean, he's looking good on health, but he doesn't have any healing items. He doesn't really have a lot of ammo. I mean, this is quite a, a, a ballsy play here to, to be going right for the action and going right for the eliminations with his mats. Look at this, excited, he's just on He dropped, the okay. Side. There's the communication, he probably told his teammate, and he's got a little bit, but that's not a lot. It's not really. That means his teammate only has about 114 as well, he probably split some. Oh my gosh, that was so close. What they don't know is excited is literally on the other side of this cliff. If he looks down, oh no, he knows. He hears a oh, oh, it's in that two versus one. Yeah. Nice. But now and, his teammate can And they go right for that finish. Oh man, that's a tough spot. And then, look, look, his teammate literally just keeps running. Yeah. 
And here we the see arm. them in the same one by one. Kind of uh, a risky situation to be in. I almost like it. Oh, oh wow. Another little battle going off right here. Razor very, very low. Finds Twitch. Gabby, no. Gets it down. Some, some. Wow. It's nice. Good job, man. Beautiful. I think that was just all one player. Uh, you think so? Like maybe his, the, Gabby's teammate bailed? Yeah, and now it, it must look like, I think that was an instant elimination, if I'm not mistaken. Wow. But yeah, as we saw earlier, when, when they got that, that elimination near the Loot Lake waterfall, they both dropped down, and we're noticing that a lot. Both teams go in for the loot. They both go looting when, when one should keep the high ground in case another enemy tries a third party, and uh, they should almost be a scout. Right, right. So you have one person that's looting, you have one person watching and saying, all right, I see a team here, and then that other teammate can come yeah. back, right? Yeah, because they were in that one-by-one one at the bottom for a very long time. <clears throat> On okay, same. checking out the current map. Look, there's someone very deep. Yeah, two different no people very yeah, deep yeah. in the storm right now. Yeah. Not where you want to be. And no, if we, we see this team near Tilted, there's a couple of other teams nearby. So there could be some engagements coming in very, so, very soon. So I think the little white triangles were actually Sven Austin Tinny. Right, okay. So I think they actually might have somehow made it. They must have taken a rift. <laughs> Back over to Razor. One and they have, they have a nice position. They're most likely scouting out here. They're waiting for the next circle. I mean, this is where you want the final circle to be in the position they're in right now. Having that high ground is so key. I mean, people have to build up high, high to them. And in that time where they're building, I mean, when you're building, you can't shoot. So it's a perfect opportunity to, uh, to get some shots off. Look at that. The storm moves. It's not too, too far. I mean, I feel like this is a kind of safe spot to be in, though. I mean, if, especially on your mountain. You just slide in the mountain, right. build kind of very sparing cover as you need it, and then you just make your way to the circle, right? Right. Over back to Isaac and Le. They're inside nice little tilted. C4. And he sees him. Gonna double up and then detonate at the same time, so the one blows up uh, the roof, and then the other one goes inside and does that inside splash damage. Very nice combo there. And there's, mind you, there's 40 people left, Zeke. That's a lot for for the way this zone is right now and how, how small it is. Yeah, BGIA guys, Markel. Look at them, they're inside tilted. They're, so they're low, so there's actually a team just above them. Wow, yeah. Yep, and that's, look, that's actually Isaac and Lay. So I think that the, the building that was on Isaac's right is actually the building they're in. Or maybe it's the building on their left. Yeah, it looks like you, this is it. They're, they're right in here, directly below uh, them. And he's yep. dropping down on their level. Oh man, he opens the door. That's very brave. And Opening that's, a door. And that's very loud. Sometimes a good strategy is when you're in a building, shut a door so you can hear if an enemy opens it. Because it's loud, right? right? Very good audio cue. Look, he owns the wall there now, and he's trying to put a pyramid down. Yeah. So and now he tries to... Roof. Right. Teammate goes down as well. He fires. Oh, he's Lock. gotta keep the pressure up so they don't execute his teammate. They go oh, for the finish, and he gets one down. One versus one right now. He's peeking from the right side. He built, going for the edit play. Oh, no, he doesn't. He backs off. I feel like you should have just tried. Can you shoot through that little hole there? I wish you could. <laughs> and he just goes all in. Now he owns that wall. I think he, the enemy owns the other wall as well. Oh, oh nice. That was so close, man. Isaac clutches it. Three eliminations. Got a bunch of loot now, but... By himself. By his teammates himself. out. That's okay. We've seen players clutch it all yesterday. They're, they're, they're down a player, but they're not out. Exactly. And here they have to give up this high ground. Dropping down to get into the next circle early. Uh, Storm is actually pushing in on them. They have a lot of mats to work with. They can get into build-offs. They can make it late game. They can survive. It's going to be interesting to see what they do with all these mats. And you're not kidding. They have eight, six, and almost nine. Yeah, and you got to wonder what his teammate has as well. I mean, they're stacked. Okay, so this is NIP Goofy. This player is also in Tilted? A lot of building around here. I mean, man, it just it forces you to play a lot differently. That was Isaac. Wow. Live. <laughs> no. Wow. He finds him and makes the elimination. This is the first one for him. The thing man. I love about this game is that, you know, with, with all this building, you can almost make your own design and you have to work your way around. It's like, you think you know Tilted Towers? Wait to come visit uh, mid-game or late-game when there's structures in the way and you have to maneuver here, slip in this little crevice, right? It's always changing. The beautiful thing about this game. Couldn't agree with you more, man. Look at his mats now. Double hunting rifles, 200 slugs, almost 700 rounds wow. in the AR. Mats are looking fantastic. And he's waiting down here. Interesting Maybe strategy. Storm. I don't. Did he? I don't know. He heard someone. I think he's yeah. just being cautious. And I mean, if someone finds him, he's going to be in a tough situation. Thermal scope to air. We've we've seen some nasty plays earlier with Twitch uh, yep. Tinny and Spanos with it. I mean, this is uh, a great weapon to use apparently in this tournament. 
And again, it's just giving you information, right? Because the thermoscope uses heat signatures. Right. It's literally like thermal vision. You look out, and everything's one color. And then when you see like a little player moving, you're like, ah, yeah. that's definitely a person. And very well balanced with this slow fire rate, with its you know delay when you uh, zoom in. You can't fire right away. There's a lot of great balancing with these features that it has, such as the thermal. Look at this circle. Maybe they'll, maybe they'll just still so many players. 27 players still alive. We see a few... A few singletons, not yeah, many though. <laughs> if you look at the bottom right, he's just inside the storm. Oh my gosh, man! Funny. So it looks like there's two singletons there and tilted. So one of them was the guy, the player that eliminated Isaac. Yeah, and, and, and that's probably why he's waiting and playing it very, very slow. Yeah, so it sounds like he did in fact hear the other player. But Renick, Skite. Good positioning here, like in the center of the circle. I mean, they're just watching out, probably trying to scout our teams, maybe third party. Again, we, we always see a lot of these top players building those walls to the right, to the left, and behind them, above, so no one can get those shots off behind. Starting to get real claustrophobic here, Nick. Yeah, man. It's going to get really intense. A lot of people are going to die in a, in a, or get eliminated in a very, very short amount of time. Once this next circle comes in, I mean, people are going to be forced inwards. There's going to be forced engagements, and we're in for a treat. Only 20 seconds left, and then it's just all. Oh, look at this! His reflection. Yuke has gone down, but man, and, reflection. And look at look at his uh, his shields. He's got 10 minis, two slurp juice. I mean, he is stacked. <laughs> ammo the, for days. Ammo, materials. I mean, he's got it all. And I, I don't think, as you can see from zero eliminations, he's not going for that wrecking ball bonus. He's going for the kingpin bonus. He wants to get That's the right. victory royale for the triple points in the next game. And we've actually seen Reflection clutch a bunch of games in the past, so oh, yeah. I mean, this is not new he, territory for him. He's yeah, comfortable here. He knows what he's doing. He's playing it very smart, very cautiously. He's got his metal. He's safe right now. Just wants to be careful of C4 or any kind of explosive. Okay, here we go. Hanging out at the very edge of the storm. A lot of players, and as we talked about, I mean, a lot of players are more hyper aware in the later rounds or the later, the later ends of the match simply because it's closer and you, you have to be careful. Otherwise, enemies will capitalize on it. That's right. And these, this duo here, by oh, they down some wow. drama and uh, from under, above. Yeah, so under lower is down, and then drama is being fired on now. Nice. Like different players are all third partying this this duo here on the very outskirts of the the storm. 27 players remaining. Low ammo. I mean, you got to wonder, should be, should she be taking this fight right now? Oh, ammo we'll count, as we talked about, dictates the fights and engagements you take. If you're out of ammo, I mean, you can't do anything, so you should almost be saving it for late game. Otherwise, how are you going to win with no ammo in your chamber? There was one. She tried to secure the elimination there, which is very smart. Because remember, right. every elim is a point, and every point matters. Exactly. But then someone very quickly says, no, no, no. Peek out. I, just, I need your elimination. I need to take you out. Great little strategy to make an edit on your structure, such as a door, and then re-edit that, and then you're able to see through. It resets the edit, and it rebuilds, and in that time where it's building, it's a little transparent. Great way to see through and, and scout out enemies. Okay, remote explosive. Oh, I think they actually pulled off the res. Oh, they must have. Doubling it up. Beautiful. Oh, Took off the shield. shield. They're going to want to be aggressive here. Wow, and now they want to they want to get that, but they got to be careful of getting third party. I mean, the zone is small. Enemies hear that. Enemies wa are watching, no doubt. So I believe someone else third party them because both players immediately Yeah, and, 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 and there it is, as you just said, Zeke, right there. I feel like she probably should have just put down ceilings and then ran that way. And I mean, yeah, and sometimes it's not worth it to get loot this late into the game. Otherwise, you'll pay the price. You'll lose your health. You'll lose ammo. But hopefully it is worth it in the long run. But you talked about it. She had no ammo, but now she right. does, right? There was a ton very, of very, there. Very good point. Yeah. And these guys, uh, Renuk and uh, Skeet, are in the zone as well. I mean, they're looking good. They're in a great position. Yeah. I mean, overwatching literally everything, as you can see from this nice little wide angle. They're in that tall one by one. Look, they're what's interesting so down below, are, it's uh, Kinsel again and Mitro, but instead of having high ground, they have the lowest ground right now. Yeah. Nice. And there is a yeah, there is a team right there that they are aware of that we saw in that wide angle camera. Like, oh, I, think I thought they were getting built up. I on thought they it. were getting built up on as well. Yeah, maybe they are a build below. It's hard to. Tell. It's hard to tell. It's hard to see. Like, and that's why these angles. Like, there is a team. You're right. There's okay. a team below them. Okay. We've got uh, Severin over there, so it looks like... I mean, look at this. There's so many players still left alive. The Epsilon guys there in the top right. The storm is pushing in. I mean, there's so much building. 
There's just so much frantic action. And the storm is very far away. They, With the materials they have, I mean, I don't know if it's even worth it to extend outwards. And they might want to drop down once they have to push into this next zone. Beautiful play. Took off a little bit of shield. 30-30. RPG incoming. Breaking that roof. Then they're going to combo with the AR once it's blown up. Do you think they should try and uh, utilize the Clinger and RPG? So drop a Clinger and then fire at the wall with the RPG and try to get both? I think ooh, that's a good point. Uh, yeah, but we, as we've seen, like in the in the other games, like you, people will throw a clinger, then shoot it with an AR. I think that's just a viable, just as viable of a strategy, right? So the the AR blows up the wall, then the clinger that was stuck to that wall will do that inside damage versus just the damage on the outside wall. That's right. Look, there's the Vic and Madsen. So the Vic and Madsen, uh, not too long ago, had the victory royale. I don't think there's any players. So Atlantis, uh, Mitro, and Kinzel actually have uh, the Kingpin bonus active. And actually what's interesting yeah. is the Epsilon guys, we saw them. Uh, they're still alive somewhere. They've also activated the Wrecking Ball. And they actually got 10 eliminations match wow. four. So, you know, that was the last game. Or yeah. two games ago, I guess. Extending out is one by one, trying to get in position for when they're moving out. Looks like they're going to keep this high ground and extend their base. Oh, 49. Oh, oh my gosh. Oh, gets it down, but the storm is right on them. They're not getting that loot. They can't get the finish. Oh, I, I mean, don't. yeah, I think he's, he's gonna be lost. To the storm. He's not getting revived, so they might as well just not focus on him, which they do. Oh, oh no. and he drops down. What? Oh, that RPG. It went from 12 and, players to oh, nine. Oh, and he gets now it's eight. Just can make it out of the zone, but it's oh, too late. It's no, too late. Madison, did they go down? And remember, they had the kingpin. Uh, no, they actually didn't have the kingpin. Oh, wait. Listen. That was very, very close, though. I mean, they they did a that was valiant effort right there, and another team right here. He Beautiful. Cool. Wait, did he place a trap? Oh, that was the enemy's trap. Okay, was. I was like, did he place his own trap for yeah. the Elib? That would be dumb. And that's the thing about being aggressive. When you get aggressive and try to get in someone's one by one, I mean, if, if it's all of, and they own the walls, as you as you put it, I mean, they can just put a trap and then you're boxed in and you're, and you're gone. <laughs> you're just jumping into your own elimination at that point. Yeah, and, and as you saw, this player didn't even go in that enemy's one by one, which was very smart. He stayed a little bit out, but just at the point where he could still see him and get that elimination. So here we go, Nick. Four players. Ready Remain. And it looks like Sky it's two one. solos. It's, yes, it, it's 2v1. V1. Yeah. Sky still alive from the top. I mean, he still has he's four rockets. He's sneaking around, trying to stay silent. Oh, the Not RPG like play! Let's go. Oh, oh, and he oh, gets it! Wow. That's it! He finds the victory. Oh, wow. Congrats to Sky, even with running down in a 1v2 situation, finds the elimination he needs for the victory.